Welcome to my channel. My name is Eddie. This is your first time of checking out my channel. You're welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, you're also welcome. I'll be sharing my travel experience. <laughs> so I recently went on a birthday trip. I thought to do like a solo trip. First of all, I wanted to go to Paris from Lagos, Nigeria. Then I decided to go to some neighboring countries around um, France, Vienna, Austria, Hungary, in Budapest, and Italy. I went to two cities in Italy and that's Rome and Venice. Italy was the most strange experience, but the others were quite like a walk in the park. If you're watching now, I'm back from the trip. This vlog will just be showing you how everything happened because I want to just let you in on how it went. So I'm just getting to the airport. I'm so tired, but I got to not sleep on the plane. <clears throat> I look stressed. Uh, trying to get my baggage, so I'm on my way there. Oh my god, I'm coming to see some so tired. So finally got to Mukai. Making my way to my hotel. I arrived at the airport at about six past six. I didn't leave until now. There's there was this big crowd at the airport because everybody seems to be traveling. It's so cold. I didn't know it would be this cold, honestly. It's very cold. I got to my hotel and I am trying to get to the supermarket. Across the road, I'm out again. I feel refreshed. I had some sleep for two hours. Now I'm trying to go and get a coat, a kind of coat, because it's really cold. And I need to feel comfortable because I'll be going to the Eiffel Tower later today. I'll take the train to the Eiffel Tower and waiting for the train to come with my new friend. Exactly, I fell down, and we had to come down these stairs just so we can get a good view. <laughs> I'm excited. Over here, waiting for Tower to get up. Hello, Paris. I will be boarding my flight soon, as soon as I check in. Flight to be on. I'm 
my way to Vienna. Yeah. Hi, I'm in Vienna. I couldn't make a video before because I thought I was lost. So now I'm making a video of Vienna. I'm trying to find my way to my hotel. I like this. This is my room in Austria. Very simple and pretty nice. Had this very weird feeling initially. There was nobody at the reception, and I was supposed to just sign in with a code. After getting an email from them, it seemed a little bit strange but nice. Here's my hotel in Budapest. Fortunately, I already sat on my bed. I just needed to make this video. sleep here or then tomorrow we tour Budapest. Ooh. Uh, I'm assuming this is the place I'm looking for. St. Stephen's Basilica. So let me ask. I think so. attractions you just know I'm looking for the house of parliament here it is This nice spa, I'm about to move the song on. Oh, 
you can put a hundred grand on it. Anything I said, I stamp on it. In a private plane, I lamp on it. Let the order to call me bank on it. Cause I walk around with the bank on him. Show them Gangnam style, put the gang on him. Wow, this is beautiful. video of my scattered room in Rome. At this point, I'm pretty tired, so. Then, there's my box, there's my table, and there's my window. It's cute and nice. Back at the restaurant to have breakfast. So this is the craziest and the most adventurous thing I've ever done in my entire life. Entire life. So right now I'm in Italy. In Rome, in Italy. I got here today. Like I'm not even joking. And I'm heading to the Colosseum. You know, the gladiator Colosseum. And um, I'm getting excited. I hope I can get in because tomorrow I head to Venice. Look at that. That is the great Colosseum. I came. I saw. I conquered. I conquered Rome. I did. And I'm excited. I'm at the Colosseum. Staring at the Col Colosseum. Colosseum. How do you say it? What a bad name. I don't know. Look at the video. Oh. So, I'm about to leave now. I have conquered the city of Rome. Because I'm going to do a video. Just basically the short clip of this view for Lisa. I always forget to take a picture before I start eating. So.
If you don't have mind, don't even travel solo. And if you ever travel solo, maybe just do one country. Travel to one country to avoid drama. It's not a joke, but will I do it again? Maybe. <sighs> Hasn't been fun. Yeah. Scary. But, you know, the fun part just outweighs the scary part. <sighs> Mission accomplished. So, back to Paris tomorrow. At this point, I'm running late to the airport. The airport was farther than I thought. Apart from that, the attendant that sold the ticket for the boat ride wasted my time intentionally. As if that was not enough, I missed my flight. And the attendant at the airport told me that I couldn't board the plane even though the flight was being delayed and I had checked in online. He told me the next flight was in two days. Meanwhile, there was another flight on that same day. That was a horrible experience. Uh, here's my room for the next four days. It's a party of work. It's young, but I came for Hope I can still go in. We can eat lots. It's not a photo shoot as usual. <laughs> So many people here. I wonder it's good to come early. Good enough, there's good sun. Let's fix on. Feel a bit warm.
Welcome back. I'm sure if you stayed up to this point, you've watched most of the video, but um, I'm just going to be telling you some other stuff. So if you're traveling for the first time as your so a solo trip, you have to be well planned. So make sure you have everything scheduled. But if perhaps you've been busy and you don't have all the time, make sure that a day to the time that you're traveling to another country or to another city, you have booked your train or your flight and you are ready and on time always try to get there earlier than early because you don't want to be stuck or stranded or you're under any form of pressure from my own experience i'll tell you that my best was budapest you might be thinking oh why not paris because paris is more like the city of love and the eiffel tower and blah 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 but for me it was budapest because i felt like i had more places to visit in budapest and it was there was variety for some of you it might be something else and i think my worst was italy and i'm sorry if you're italian and you're watching this but i think it's a bit disorganized over there coming from nigeria it was quite easy for me to navigate but because nigeria too can be very disorganized I'll, I'll tell you that Italy is more like the advanced version i think it was in venice that i really really got to me because i was trying to get from rome to venice and i missed my train I wasn't even four because I'd gotten there on time, but they didn't even announce that it was the wrong train. So everything was correct. I just didn't notice the train number, and it was so strange because when I got on the train and I found out it was the wrong train, I cried. Like in my mind, I was like, "I'm going to get lost." I was the only one. But luckily for me, there was this nice lady that was able to help me, and she made sure that I was able to stop at Florence and. Then I got on the right train. I had some bad experience in Venice, but generally it was fine. And in Austria, this nice lady I met when I was trying to get from Austria to Budapest. I just needed directions, but she stopped. She was holding a stroller, and the baby was in the stroller, but she made sure she booked a cab for me and helped me. And 
thought that was really sweet because you know coming from nigeria you'd be thinking mm, most of these people are racist but that was not the case a lot of them are really nice so i just think um, you should try any of these countries i guarantee you have fun i think that's all if you've stayed to the end <laughs> subscribe you need to subscribe so like share subscribe and turn on post notifications so that you can always get my notifications when i'm doing my next video or any other video thank you for watching and have a nice day bye